the Year of the Pig King update just dropped. First, let's get the obvious out of the way, skins. There is one new skin set available called the Contender set. Only three characters have been bestowed with new outfits. Wolfgang and Wigfred, unsurprisingly, and Wes as well for some reason. Hulk Hog, I, I mean Wolfgang's, is definitely my favourite. It comes with a straw hat skin, which extends to a miner hat skin and a rain hat skin as well. As well as a crowbar themed skin for the hammer, which I absolutely love. Wigfred mains will also be rejoicing, since Wig received a skin for her battle helms and her battle spear. Wes received an umbrella skin and a wardrobe skin. This means that we can put a skin on the thing that we use to put skins on. Skinception? But don't worry, there's also a free skin for anyone who logs in when the event is active. It's a Pig King themed beefalo hat, which is actually really nice, especially considering it's free. As for the event itself, you first need to obtain a golden belt from befriending or killing a pig. You don't have to be the one to kill the pig, which means that you can start a civil war amongst the pigs and get a decent number of belts. The prefab name for the belt is pig underscore token, if you want to spawn some in and try out the event for free. Upon giving a belt to the Pig King, the event will start, and four beefed up pigs will jump out. During the event, the player must pick up signs and smack the pigs over the head before the pigs do so to the player. Getting hit by a sign will send the player back, stun them, drop their currently equipped item, as well as any lucky nuggets they have in their inventory. These attacks, however, don't do any damage. The Pig King will also throw out lucky gold nuggets along with the signs, which the player can pick up, else the pigs will grab them. The fight can be cheesed by using a pan flute, one of which can be grabbed from Glonna's statue, to put the pigs to sleep when the Pig King throws out a round of items. Any onlooking pigs will berate you and call you out for cheating, and doing this appears to affect the amount of lucky nuggets you receive at the end. Building cobblestone turf and using a walking cane, as well as any character specific speed modifiers is highly recommended, as this will make dodging attacks and collecting items far easier. The main reward from the event is lucky gold nuggets, which can be used at the new pig shrine. The best way to get maximum amounts of gold nuggets appears to be dodging the attacks with speed boosts, as this ended up with me getting two packages with four nuggets inside. Getting the pigs to hit other pigs with signs also appears to have a large positive effect on the rewards. A pig king shrine can be crafted for two boards and eight gold, and is available without any crafting stations. Once the shrine is built, place one raw or cooked big meat on the altar. This will unlock a few unique crafting recipes which you can obtain via a lucky gold nugget offering. Some items from previous years will be available, including the lucky beast costume, the lantern and the firecrackers. The unique items available from the shrine are some fish heads on a stick, which restores a decent amount of hunger and a small amount of health, the pig king tribute roast, which restores a large amount of hunger and a small amount of health, and the eight treasure mud pie, which cannot be eaten but can be fed to pigs in order to befriend them. And that's pretty much all there is to this event. Thanks to Snowy the 24th for appearing in the two-player bit. They have a channel that exists. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.